Alicia and today I've got a bit of a different video for you guys so I thought I would <laughs> fill you in on my mares and what the breeding season for 2024 looks like. Before we get into this exciting video I just wanted to thank the sponsor of this video which is Anna Luisa. Now I have worked with this company a few times now so I'm sure you guys already know how much I love them but I'm going to remind you for another time. I'm actually wearing some of their pieces right now. I'm currently wearing the Ash double earrings as seen right now. I love them. They're absolutely stunning. And if you guys know me well, you know how much I love my jewelry. I'm very particular with what I wear. Um, and I have so many pieces from Ana Luisa now. And it honestly, it is pretty much all I wear. But Anna Luisa, they hold their jewelry to a higher standard because the investment you can make in yourself also benefits the planet. How absolutely incredible. I love that. So Anna Luisa provides stunning earth-friendly jewelry that actually lasts. They continue to challenge the jewelry industry by bridging the gap between quality, accessibility, and sustainability. They craft their jewelry to stand the test of time, making sure that you know how and where your pieces were made, which is not something a lot of companies do, especially jewelry companies, so I love that. Their designs are timeless and really affordable, which is lovely. The quality is honestly unmatched. I have had some of their pieces for years now and they look brand new still and I have worn the absolute heck out of them. And on top of that, their commitment to the environment never wavers. It's just amazing. I could not recommend a company higher. So if you are interested in purchasing or just even looking at the Ana Luisa website, make sure you use the link in my description. I have my three mares in here. Obviously we know Sugar and then we know Bambi, of course. Everyone will know Bambi. Oh, come on, Bambi. And then the one you won't know is Miss Riley over here. Riley is playing a very important part in the whole breeding program. So here they are. I don't know why we're giving that face Riley. But yeah, so I thought I'd fill you in. We may as well stand start with Sugar, who is coming right over to me right now. So, oh, silky man. So I bought Sugar at the start of this year in January, 2023. And I actually bought her with the intention to break her in and sell her. Um, but that did not happen. I fell in love with this mare. Okay. <laughs> I fell in love with this mare and she quickly became a really, really big part in the team. And I realized that I don't want to sell this horse and she has really good breeding. So I was like, well, we, I, and she has probably the best work ethic I've ever seen in a horse. She is just, she would honestly do anything for her rider. She is incredible. I love her. I absolutely adore her. and. I think she's going to have a place here forever <laughs> because she's just the sweetest bear and I honestly just can't fault her. Confirmation lady, she's really, really beautiful. I'll put a photo of her on the screen as well without any tack on. Oh, so you can see what she looks like. Um, she had, she, I broke her in, in January and she was competing not too long after that, to be honest, only a couple months under saddle, she was ready to compete. She, this year, went really, really well with some super scores, placing in her dressage tests and walking away with the reserve champion as well at one of her comps. She's only been to limited comps just because of my time throughout the year. So she's probably only been to a handful of comps, but she's placed at every one and went incredibly well, held herself together, unreal. She's just a super level-headed horse. So I quickly realized that I wanted a foal out of her, but given that she is in full work and she's my main competition horse now, I wanted to do an embryo transfer. So Miss Sugar, we took an embryo out of her a bit earlier on in the season and it is currently in Riley, who I will go to. <laughs> Riley's waiting patiently at the gate for some food. This is Riley. She is a beautiful thoroughbred mare. She is. She's a really beautiful thoroughbred mare that I picked up specifically to be a recip. So she has just had her 45 day positive scan in foal with Sugar's embryo to the stallion Morricone. Now Morricone is a super exciting stallion and I do plan to go to him with Bambi in another season as well. But Morricone is a Grand Prix stallion. He is based in Europe. Uh, he actually won his first ever long Grand Prix with a whopping 74%. 
Um, he was also the Oldenburg 2021 Stallion of the Year. He's had a lot of outstanding progeny that have also gone on to great success. He is a personal favourite stallion of mine. I've heard a lot of good things about his offspring temperament wise too. So I really think that this foal is going to just be the oh, ultimate temperament work ethic wise with her personality and temperament with him. I just think it's going to be incredible. So I'm really excited to see what her first foal is going to be just because she's a very special mare. She quickly gained a very special place in my heart once I got her. Um, so yeah, she will not be having the foal. Uh, Riley will be having the foal. So Sugar has no idea. Sugar has no idea she's going to have a foal. A bit like Bambi this year. Because obviously I have little fawn on the ground, which is Bambi's baby, but Bambi was not the one to carry the baby. Bambi's baby was had, was birthed by Skittles, who I'm sure you guys remember. Um, oh, <laughs> she's coming back for more cuddles. Um, yeah, Skittles had Bambi's baby this year. So Fawn is a lovely little colt. He is going absolutely incredible. He started to learn how to halter train. I actually taught him how to pick up his feet before I even started putting a halter on him. Uh, it's just what I kind of like to do. Um, I don't rush to put a head collar on them too early, uh, just because I think it's very important to protect their pole at that age. So I do everything, well, well everything that I can do without the head collar. And then now he's at a stage where he's big and strong enough that I can start to teach him how to lead. So he's been going really well at that. Anyway, sugar. Going, moving on to Miss Bambi over here. A lot of people have been asking about Bambi and I actually made the decision to put Bambi in foal herself this year. So yes, uh, she is currently in foal, carrying her own foal. I just thought it was a perfect time for her to have her own baby. She is eight now and I've done a lot with her competition wise. She's achieved a lot and just been in a lot of full-time work and I just felt like now was the time that would suit her best to have a bit of a break that way I can also focus on my work I've got a lot of client horses at the moment and I just don't have the time to have two horses in full work so Sugar is going to be my main competition horse and Bambi is taking a step back and she's gonna have a foal Bambi has just had her 30 day positive scan um, she is in foal to Valverde. Valverde is a young stallion, another European stallion. Um, he, he has outstanding lines in him. He's got Ampera. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Don't. And Vitalis. Um, and first final. But he is honestly incredible. He was a 2016 Westphalian licensing stallion of the year. He's also won the Westphalian young horse championship three years in a row he has produced some outstanding offspring one of which sold for the whopping price of 76 thousand euros honestly has so many young horse titles like way too many to name he's pretty much won everything he's an incredible stallion he's an outstanding horse who's going to be an even better horse once he you know develops to the grand prix stuff but yeah so i should also go over my horse's lines so going back over to miss sugar she has bellissimo m lines and royal hit lines uh she's also her stallion um charisma billionaire was an outstanding young horse won a lot of things at sydney cdi he's by bellissimo m he's a beautiful palomino and so and then bambi is by the stallion 007 and by the mayor samsara hit who <laughs> who is by Sandro Hit. Samsara Hit was a super successful horse before she was turned into a broodmare. She used to be ridden by Brett Parbury and won a lot of the young horse stuff as well. So both mares have incredible lines and proven parents. Bambi herself obviously is a bit older than Sugar, so she has done more than Sugar. Bambi has Bambi herself holds a national title and countless champion and reserve champion titles across dressage and showing. Sugar, obviously she's just started um, this year, but yeah, she's got outstanding scores and already won a reserve champion title at, I think it was her third or fourth show and she's only done four shows. 
but um, both mares have very correct and outstanding movement, very light in the frame, very trainable attitudes, and yeah. So, and then Miss Riley's just here to carry Shug's baby. She's looking at the bucket. She says, I've been good, can you feed me? But as you can see, she's a very, very beautiful mare. Um, and she is 12 years old. She has had three foals, three thoroughbred foals. This is her first time having a uh, having an embryo transfer foal. But she's been an outstanding mud mum for her breeders. This is a paddock that they're in. I'm not too sure how big it is, but it's big. They've got lovely shade up with the trees. They've got a dam down there, and that's the boundary along there. So. Decent sized paddock, a good few acres, not sure how many, but probably about four or five acres to be honest. So yeah, very happy mares, very happy mares. I'm just feeding them now because they're being so patient um, and just want their food. But look at these two girls. There's another feed bowl over here, but they just want to eat together. But yeah, so both bowls, from these two gorgeous mares <laughs> will be for sale and will be for sale as hard as that is for me to say but <laughs> um, I do want to sell the first few foals I breed and then probably the following season if Bambi gives me a filly that's what I'll keep um, as I would really really love a filly from Bambi I don't plan to keep any colts uh, because I'm obviously my my thing is I want to get into breeding more and more I want to produce more foals so I don't have any aspirations to have a stallion if you haven't seen form the foal I was talking about Bambi's foal I do recommend checking out my last video as I did a full video of his birth and I think up to like the first three weeks of his life I might do an updated video a bit later on um because he's getting bigger he's getting older maybe i'll show you guys once he starts leading a bit better but yeah if you have any questions let me know and fawn is obviously for sale um given that he's a cult i may have i was kind of contemplating keeping him if he was a filly but he made the decision easier for me and he came out a boy so <laughs> he is for sale um he will come branded microchipped registered all of that jazz um but yeah, so if you are interested in him as well, you can always let me know. But yeah, so I hope that was an interesting video for you guys. I know a lot of you are really interested in what I'm doing breeding-wise um, as I'm trying to expand each season. So I'm going to have two foals due next year, which is really exciting. Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Make sure you check the link in my description so you can see all of these gorgeous pieces yourself and possibly purchase some. The prices from Ana Luisa start at just $39 USD and free shipping around the United States. So make sure you check them out and don't miss out on a really good deal.